The Department of Water and Sanitation hosted a master plan at their regional offices in Cape Town. The master plan aims to establish a consolidated plan for water and sanitation to meet future needs. Cape Town is currently experiencing a severe drought. Department officials say this drought has vulnerable lessons which will influence the master plan. Day zero as it is looks at the reticulation issues within the municipality. And therefore that will be there, but in, in any way that we might be able to support, then that comes in. And part of that support is to ensure that people respond to the restrictions, people respond to consumption patterns needing to go down. You know, for us it is a means of saying, where are we as a collective? And you must remember that uh, our, our DDG for, for strategic and special projects, uh, Trevor Bowser, that you just spoke to now, is also in, in, in the team that is the advisory team to the city of Cape Town that's looking at this issue that is meeting every week. I think what you must bear in mind is that uh, uh, we're in an abnormal situation in the Western Cape in that we have a drought which is... Uh, possibly the worst drought that we've got on, uh, on a hundred year record um, and we've had declining rainfall from the end of 2015 onwards so we're managing in, uh, in, a, in a very very severe drought the rain will come again but the lessons coming out of this drought is that we have to going forward learn to use less water I don't think uh, 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 in the future it will be as low as pushing us down to 50 litres or 87 litres per person per day. But we do have to try and at least uh, get to somewhere closer to the, uh, to the world average of 173 litres per person per day. And if we achieve that, it will go a long way to closing the water gap.